Hello. Sorry about the cold. I'd offer you a blanket or something like that. But it won't help. No, you won't get used to it. But you'll forget about it. How do I know? Let me phrase it this way. Welcome to my domain. If you heard that with a slight hint of sarcasm, you're right. This is not my domain. I have been here for a while, though. What is this place? Good question. It is called... The Void. At least, that is what I was told. Of course, whether or not it's true, it does not matter in the slightest. No, I mean it. It does not matter whatsoever. Because, as you can see... The name is definitely on point. There is absolutely nothing. Of course, you want to know how you got here. Well, it might surprise you to hear this, but the fact that you are here means someone really genuinely hates you. You only appear here when someone's hatred of you is so strong so incredibly fiery that it takes an actual physical form. I use that term in the broadest sense. People walk through it without knowing whenever it appears. Some get a small shiver. Some get goosebumps. Legend has it, one person actually sneezed. Can you believe that? (laughs) Must have been allergic to hatred. Makes you wonder, though. Must have been a swell guy. But to continue, when hatred takes a physical form, it tends to drift, float around, slowly moving towards the cause of its existence. Sometimes this is a building. Sometimes it's a corporation or even a whole country. But usually it is a person. And when that cloud of absolute hatred makes it to its cause, and becomes so dense enough, it evaporates and takes the object of its, for lack of a better word, affection with it. And when that happens, he or she ends up here, a timeless, empty void where you will wait for it to happen again. Because nature abhors vacuum, you see. And when this void is pulled open, it slowly pushes the only thing in it, the last occupant, back out. Now why am I telling you this? Because of the last part of this little tale. See, there's a reason that this void isn't filled with buildings or corporations or countries. After all, more hatred should lead to a faster disappearance, shouldn't it? This place should be an airport of assholes, dickheads, and fuckers, all being pushed in and out as people find new reasons to hate, to spit their vile, angry emotions out through the air, to fume on the things that piss them off, day in and day out. But it's not! Because here's the kicker. For the hatred to evaporate so suddenly that it creates said vacuum, it needs to come into contact with its opposite. Its exact polar opposite. Have you guessed it yet? Good for you! You got it! It's love. Uh, uh Uh-oh. I'm thinning out. So I'll keep the rest brief. You being here means that there's a person you love. Completely and absolutely. You've loved them for a long time, and deeply too. It's in your every pore and molecule. And that person hates you. He or she loathes you entirely. So while you wait for someone to appear here and take your place, think it over. Who is it that brought you here? 
Now enjoy, my friend. For I have some catching up to do with my dear old wife.